Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to teach you how to create this blue vibrant smoky eye. I used the Morphe Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette that just launched. It is amazing. Continue watching to learn how I created this look. So I've applied some loose powder underneath my eyes because I don't want any fallout. My face is already done. I'm going to take a fluffy brush from Smith in number 232 and I'm going to apply the color Blank Start from LC Cosmetics all over my brow bone. And then I am going to switch over into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Collab Palette. I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to start with the light transitional shade and build up my crease with that. I'm going to go a little bit deeper now and start building that transitional color. You want to almost stay above your crease for this one. I normally keep all color below the crease, but for this look I'm going to go a little bit higher because I do want to create a more dramatic summer look versus something more natural that I would normally do for clients or myself. Normally I would use some sort of a cream base for shimmer or bright colors, but I've tried this pigment just on my bare hand and it's pretty amazing so it doesn't need a base. So I'm going to use my finger, dip into that electric blue, and just apply this using pressing motions all over my lid. You normally, of course, want to do this before you put your mascara on, but since I already have my mascara on, we're just going to kind of go around it. But I am using my finger because I really just want to press the color on the lid and get it as pigmented as possible. See how this doesn't need a base? It's freaking amazing. Somewhat of a detailed brush right here. This is Morphe M506. You guys know this is one of my favorite brushes ever. And I'm going to go in the smaller areas of my eyes. So right near the tear duct. On both sides. In the outer corners. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is really just start buffing it into my crease and taking it a little bit higher. So right in there, I'm just carefully moving up the color without over blending it so it doesn't get all over the place. So depending on what you want the shape of your eyes to look like, you're going to change this eyeshadow in several different ways. If you want a very rounded eye look, you're going to go a little bit higher in the blue here. If you want a very catty look, you can wing out this blue a little bit more. And if you want to make it dramatic, you can take it high and out. I am going to keep it more in my eye and take it out in a more rounder finish. I can see that part is kind of stuck, so I'm just going to grab some more blue. And with a light hand, I'm just going to sweep right above it. So instead of trying to move what's there, which is kind of stuck there, I'm taking a little bit of the same color and applying it with a light hand to create a blend. Right, now we're seeing some progress. Okay, so I'm going to take the first blending brush I used, a 230, I'm actually using 235. All right, so I'm just taking a little bit of that warm color to help this blue really blend out, but I'm barely touching. I don't really want to move the blue. I just want to apply some color at the edges of it to help it diffuse. Okay, so I'm going to take this Be Bella brush in RG214, it's just a pencil brush, and dip into that same color. And we're going to press this right underneath the eye and smudge it as we apply it. So if you're gonna do a look like this with a really dramatic eye, it kind of becomes your statement piece. So you, if you ever want to pull off this look, you gotta wear basic colors such as black and white. You can't do this with, I know sometimes 
I guess it depends on the look. If you want to do something very florally and you want to be like eccentric, then it'll look good if that's your personality. But other than that, if you want it to be wearable, you got to do it with basic colors so that, you know, this becomes the only focal point versus like the outfit, the hair, the jewelry. It might be a little bit too much. All right, so now I'm going to take a black eyeliner. This is from Tarte, the Tarteiste Blackout. And I'm going to coat the waterline. Again, you can skip this part if you want to. If you have small eyes, I suggest you don't line them up. All right, so now I'm going to pick up my Tartiste Mascara and reapply this on my bottom lashes and top. I know I had on mascara earlier from earlier today, but I do have a lot of eyeshadow and fallout on that now, so we gotta coat it up black again. I'm going to dust off all of the loose powder from underneath my eyes. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use these lashes from Umu Doga, and these are in the style Enchante, I believe. I'm using the Callus, which is, as most of you know, my favorite lash glue. And I use the shade Black. And just pop that on. Just reapplying my lippy. This is Naughty from ColourPop. neutral but it has a little pinkish hue. I had that on for my previous video so I'm just reapplying it. I'm not changing anything so if you want to see how I did the colors of the face watch my silver smoky video. All right I'm going to just reapply my highlighter because it did get lost with all that transitional or translucent powder and that is it. That is the final look to my blue vibrant smoky eye i hope you guys enjoyed this look make sure to subscribe like comment let me know what other looks you guys want to see and i'll see you next time <laughs>